give this update without I, I don't want to get emotional on camera hi my loves welcome back to another video and thank you so much for being here today so let's do a live update we're back in the UK it's crazy because since we've been back it's just been go 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 really hope you guys enjoyed those Canada vlogs um, we had an amazing time seeing my sister it's been like three years since we've seen her um, Mira never met JV no lie she met JV when he was young 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 they were both very young um, and we haven't seen each other in so long and I'm just so happy we got to spend that time and everything um, because it's just really important that you guys spend time with your loved ones and just do not let time go by like it's moving too quickly spend time with your loved ones let everyone that you do love know that you love one love them and just don't take anything for granted um can you believe it S what would you call it internet aunties and uncles amira has started school it's crazy to me because what like she was just born she's also going to um dance school and gymnastics school which I'm really excited about because I grew up in a dance school. I went there from when I was young, 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 right through till high school, till like I've known myself, like from I've known myself, I went to dance school. So that's all I know. And I wanted the same thing for her because I just believe it teaches like discipline and, and there's so much more to it than just dancing. It's, you know, it really shaped me and taught me a lot of things in life and I wanted the same for her. Um, also the fact that she absolutely loves dancing she's very creative so I just really wanted a, a channel for her to express these um, different feelings emotions and everything and just you know have a way to be expressive um, so that's exciting I can't believe it it's absolutely mad the year is almost done it's literally about to be October and the year is going to be done like let me know in the comments down below like this year just went by it went by too quick for me like where are you on your t like checklist of goals like did you um hit all the goals you wanted for this year like did you achieve everything are you on your way are you almost there did something happen that set you back like let me know what is happening guys because i honestly can't believe it so mirrors in school mirrors in dance school and then for myself um so since being back in the uk there's been so many opportunities with building my midi set brand um in terms of beauty lifestyle business um so that's what we're kind of doing we're focusing on that building that i've got to do collabs and work with quite a few um companies which is just amazing so i've done some work with um garnier l'oreal um some upcoming ones coming up which is coming up i'm really excited so stay tuned to my instagram as well and also make sure you keep in track and watching the vlogs because I do show behind the scenes and sort of the business side of things of building brand and being an influencer and working in things like that. Um, so I do show videos and stuff of when I get my PR boxes and un unboxing them and things like that. So it's just really amazing and I'm so grateful for that. Um, so that's kind of what I'm focusing on and what keeps me busy. And then um, we... So I'm going to try my best um, to give this update without, I, I don't want to get emotional on camera. Um, I'm going to do my very best. However, um, so in January of this year, um, I don't know how many of you guys have been with us since like well been with me back in the back in the day um when i first got she bear so she bear um my staffy puppy she's 12 years old and she got diagnosed with cancer in january now um when she got diagnosed you know the vet let us know that it's the most aggressive um cancer that dogs can get and 
you know, they don't think it will be very long. However, she very and she very does my baby um fighter she you know they thought mm, maybe like the next six weeks however six weeks went by month um three months went by four months went by so she up until this summer and she was just going 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 however um it started getting worse and she started getting some bits on the outside of her skin and you know it just it wasn't really very nice and we've always said that we didn't want her to suffer um, at any point and that when that time did come and it was getting challenging for her that um, we wouldn't want her to suffer so we um, lost Shebe in very recently um this month and it's been it was and it still is very difficult so she was mine and my brother's um doggy and we shared her and it's so funny because it's almost like i feel like she waited for me to come back because i literally came back and we reunited and then like january boom she got diagnosed so it's like i'm so happy i was able to come back and you know see her and everything and it's so crazy because if you and let me know in the comments as well if you are a dog owner um they literally become a part of the family like she was my first baby she literally was my first baby i had her from a very 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 tiny stage and we grew up like she she grew up with me and everything and it's like it's so crazy that she's gone because it's like you have 12 years is a long time and you don't think that you know that there's a point where they will go but it's like you I guess you know you're just never ready for that so um towards the end she started um having seizures now if you have a dog who either has or had cancer then you might you may or may not know about this but um she had a seizure uh on the sunday and then uh, me and my brother spoke and i said to him because my mom's dog had cancer as well and when it got really bad it they um she started having seizures so when she had the first seizure we started talking about it and saying you know we need to start thinking about stuff and whatever and then um she just had uh she lost her muscles so she had a lot of muscle loss and all her muscles and things in her face went and in her body and she got like really her face got like really skinny and you know she's always been such a happy pup and everything so it was very hard to see her like that um and we wanted to remember her, you know, the way that she always was, um, happy, bouncy, crazy. Like, even when she was old, at 12, before it got bad, she, everyone thought, like, she was still a pup because she's just, that's the type of personality she has. Um, so, anyway, it wasn't really moving around as much as she would normally do and everything. And then, um, you know, the vet said that we need to think about the other side and as i said me and my brother always said we don't want her to suffer so when it got to that point we would send her over the rainbow um before it got to the stage where she was suffering so um f cancer at this point i think the most difficult part was um telling amira because they created such a strong bond so it was very difficult explaining to her that she can't see her anymore and she's not there so i went through a whole and i a clip um i went through a whole conversation of just explaining to her that she's going to doggy heaven and you know there'll be lots of treats and lots of food and everything and she'll be happy up there and but it was just very heartbreaking because um she couldn't really understand why she can't see her anymore and she said to me and mommy you know you 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 have money right and i said why what's wrong she's like because um we can go on the airplane you could get you could get a ticket so we can go to airplane and see and see her 
and it just really broke my heart because it's just hard to explain they're only little they don't really understand so um yeah let me know down below if, if you remember the old vlogs um with her in there and i'm gonna also insert um a video because we knew it was coming i said my goodbyes to her um i think uh, it's more of a celebration of um the fact that she was around and everything and i think until you own a dog you you just won't understand and if you've never owned a dog before <laughs> you you won't understand honestly so um yeah I guess rest in paradise baby girl I know she's at peace now she's not in pain anymore um and it's funny because I lost my great grandma to cancer as well and it's just such an awful such an awful disease it's honestly it's just not a nice disease at all so she was resting um i'm okay <laughs> um i just wanted to give you guys an update because i'm getting loads and loads and loads of questions in my inbox and things just wanting to know what's happening so um yeah also enjoy the little clips of she bear as we say goodbye and um she's at peace now but thank you guys so much for tuning in and i do hope you have an amazing week Happy Sunday, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Could we call her in doggy heaven? We're not able to call her in doggy heaven. Why? Because the doggies just live happy with treats and love and play. Who gets them between? Someone takes care of them up there. Who? Um, I would say it's probably the mum of all doggies. So she's probably really amazing up there. But we don't want to let her know that we're sad. It's okay to feel sad for all of them. But it's okay because if we miss her, we can also look at pictures or videos. <laughs>